My new app, Task.txt, has a unique text-based UI for timing tasks and keeping focused while you work. Now, most apps are going to store some underlying data that you don't see as the user. Imagine a star rating widget where you rate something three stars. It's going to store the number three behind the scenes. But when you use the app, you're not editing the number three. You're not typing in the number five to change your rating. You're clicking on the stars. So it's storing data behind the scenes, translating that into pictures that you interact with as the user. And that's the way most UIs work, except for text. When you're editing text, like this review, you're typing in text, it's storing text behind the scenes, and so you're editing the thing that's being stored. Editing text is something that everyone who uses a computer learns how to do. It's very familiar, it's very easy, but it's also very powerful. This is why I've always used a plain text document to store my to-dos and tasks, until I stumbled upon this technique of timing my tasks to keep myself extra focused while I worked on them. But timing the task was kind of cumbersome, so I wanted some sort of app to help me do it more easily. Now, this app would need to store four pieces of information in addition to the name of the task, a guess for how long it would take, whether or not it's done, when the timer started, and an accumulated amount of time that enables me to pause and restart the timer. Now, I didn't want to give up the plain text nature of my to-do list, but if I'm going to store these four bits of data, I need to associate them with lines in my text file. And how am I going to make that association? I can't do it by line number because the line number changes as you add and remove tasks. I can't do it by matching the task text because the text could change too. So I thought, why not just store this data directly in the text itself? Well, usually we don't do that in an app because you don't want to see all this data. It looks crazy and it might look something like this. I don't want to show this to a user. So I had to come up with a different format to store this data in that's more human readable and editable. So to go through those four items, what I did is come up with a more clear representation. For whether or not it's done, I use this little X inside of square brackets. For the guess, I use this format of a number followed by M, H, or S for hours, minutes, seconds. So 5M for five minutes. And then I put a slash, and after that is some data for the timer. So when you start a timer, it puts a little timestamp here that represents when the timer started, so I can then calculate how much time has passed and show the timer. But you don't want to have this kind of a timestamp that computers use. You want it to be human readable, to look nice. So you could have a time with a date that's human readable, but it's kind of too long. Then I realized, as long as I'm okay with the limitation that tasks aren't going to go for longer than 24 hours, I don't need to store the date. I can just store the time. And so that shortened the timestamp quite a bit. And when you pause the timer, I need to store how much time had passed so that when you start it again, I can add those together. So I have an accumulated time that goes here. So this is what we have for a task. You can just type in some text. And that's a task where you can type in a guess optionally. And then when you start the timer, it adds that timestamp. And when you complete it, it adds the little X in the front. So now all the data that underlies this app is stored directly in the text. That means you could even take this entire text, cut it out of here, paste it into a different document, then paste it back in. And the entire state of your app had been moved around. So the timers and everything are still running when you paste it back. I like that this means if I want to add a task, I just type the name of the task. If I want to delete it, I just delete the text. I can edit the text, copy and paste it. I could drag it up and down, undo works. So now the underlying data of my app is a user facing part of the app and they directly manipulate it. I think this is a really cool idea because it allows us to rely on text, which is a great, easy to use interface. And I think this is an underexplored area. I bet there's other types of apps that could also work with purely text-based UIs. Now, if you think you'd benefit from this kind of an app where you can time your tasks to help yourself avoid distractions and stay focused, go to tasktxt.com and you can try it out.